Now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce somebody who is super duper excited about Tableau, Mark Bradbourne. Mark is the co-lead of the Cleveland Tug. He's a Tableau social ambassador and the Tableau evangelist at KeyBank. So I am really excited to have Mark join us today. So without further ado, Mark, I'll pass it over to you. Good morning, everybody, uh, or good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are. Uh, it could be why are you even awake at this hour. Uh, my name is Mark Bradbourne. I'm the Tableau evangelist at KeyBank in Cleveland, Ohio. <clears throat> I'm a Tableau social ambassador and one of the co-leads of the Cleveland Tableau user group. You can find me on Twitter at my highly inventive Twitter handle of at Mark Bradbourne. And today, I am the opening act of Tableau Fringe Festival. Today, I'm going to tempt your taste buds with photos of ice cream while I give you the inside scoop of internal Tableau user groups. I'm going to tell you how and why I launched a group at KeyBank, why you might want to consider this, some things to be aware of and to look out for, and some of the resources you have available to you. Now, bear in mind, this is just one story, as every company and every Tableau user group is different. Uh, my hopes in this talk are to inspire you to the possibility of starting and nurturing an internal ta Tableau user group for your company if you feel it would have value. <clears throat> so living in or near a major metro area, you may have a city tug or a regional tug that you can attend pretty easily. And I do encourage you to attend those local tugs and participate as often as possible uh, because it does connect you to the larger community. And it will bring you different perspectives and inspirations, but there are certain advantages to the internal user group. The first advantage is that you can tailor your content 100% to your company. Internally, you can have a tug discuss upgrade plans, uh, talk about internal training opportunities and process discussions. You can also do specific hands-on training where there are gaps, as well as hands-on activities that are specific to the company like internal data hackathons. The biggest advantage is use cases, simply because you don't have to worry about anonymizing data and you can share without fear, generally. Uh, even internally, there is certain data that is sensitive and cannot be shared, but it flips the paradigm versus the external tug. Internal tugs are convenient. For example, at KeyBank, we're headquartered in Cleveland, Ohio, and we have two buildings. So we alternate meetings between those two facilities. We aren't driving from one end of the city to the other, and we can also hold them during working hours, whereas some city tugs may meet before or after work, extending your already long workday. Now, lastly, we're able to be inclusive of all of our Tableau users, where ex external tugs, uh, while everyone is welcome, the content is mainly geared towards desktop developers. For internal tugs, we try to make sure our web authors are able to participate in our hands-on activities too, by publishing data sources to, to our internal Tableau server. <clears throat> now, the structure. Ideally, you want the tug to be community-led. <clears throat> with a center of excellence or your Tableau expert uh, acting as an advisor. Now in reality, it's CEO led or Tableau expert led. Uh, I work with the community to try to curate content, uh, talk to people one-on-one -on -one about presenting. Um, and I find that our internal doctor sessions are a great opportunity for those discussions. Now for more information on your Tableau uh, doctor practice, see my talk from the Tableau Fringe Fest at Asia Pacific about starting your own Tableau doctor practice. Now we use a self-service mailing list for communications <clears throat> um, to inv send invites to meetings, to send out uh, cool Tableau data viz content on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. <clears throat> Next year, we're expanding our communication a bit by utilizing Microsoft Teams as a hub for content. We'll be posting our slide decks, meeting recordings, we'll have a, a group wiki for tips and tricks, links to resources, and anything else we find useful. <clears throat> now, at our first meeting, we had an open discussion about what we want as a community from a user group. Now, as I kind of predicted, nobody had any input because the entire concept of a Tableau user group was foreign. Um, so they didn't know what exactly was possible. Now, luckily, having worked with the Cleveland Tableau user group as a co-leader and as an attendee, I had some content ideas to get rolling. I steal like an artist from other tugs, too. For those who run city tugs or special interest tugs, like health viz tugs, 
uh, you know that curating content and getting speakers can sometimes be a challenge. It's a challenge internally too. The only saving grace is that the data privacy isn't a valid excuse anymore. I have theories as to why. Uh, I think much of it has to do with not feeling like an expert or having the confidence to share their work. <clears throat> but I'm here to tell you every Tableau journey has value. Even for someone telling, them, telling you how they just got started, uh, it has value to somebody. So we encourage, we hound, uh, and we beg people to present, but it is a tough sell at times for sure. As far as our cadence, well, like everything in Tableau, it depends. Before our first meeting, I sent out an email to our Tableau server and desktop users, and the first question I asked was, uh, do you think the internal Tableau user group would be something you'd participate in? Just under 100 people said yes. Uh, from there, there were questions uh, starting to narrow down dates and locations and times and how often we should meet. We ended up holding our meetings every other month, six a year, plus a conference planning meeting. Now it's worth noting that at a minimum to be recognized by Tableau as an official user group, you need to meet quarterly. Uh, this gives you access to the Splash platform, the new user group platform that is, and some swag. Whatever your crew's appetite for meetings, do your best to meet it. Um, don't be afraid to adjust and experiment. I'm happy to say though, now we have about 250 people on our mailing list and we're generally well over 100 people who attend the, the TUG meeting. Uh, in 2019, we'll be using the TUG to promote a series of Makeover Monday live sessions once a month uh, and a series of lunch and learns. A lot of content and a lot of opportunity for community outreach, all in the attempt to get people involved with the TUG and think more Tableau-centric as we drive adoption. Now, one of the challenges for us is that not everyone is in Cleveland. So we hold the meetings with a WebEx uh, for our remote users. So far, the feedback's been good, uh, but we're always looking for other ways to engage our distance community. The, uh, this, I think, is the biggest challenge for companies who have a wide footprint, or um, as one of the best parts of the tug is that sense of community when everybody's in the same room. Um, I do encourage pockets of people in our remote loca locations to reserve room so they can attend the WebEx together. And I'm exploring ways to put together a road show to do a Tableau day on those sites uh, to bring some of that community feel directly to them. Uh, also in 2019, I'm hoping to find a way to incorporate video streaming to the WebEx so they can feel like they're there. Uh, one of the things I stress in tug meetings, and honestly, anytime I talk about Tableau, is the greater Tableau community. Our own Cleveland Tableau user group, community projects like Makeover Monday and Workout Wednesday, Viz for Social Good and Data for a Cause, all of these things are fabulous ways to engage with the community. I share webinars from Tableau and really cool events like the Tableau Fringe Festival as a great opportunity for learning, because simply, they are. I, I encourage them to get involved and to get plugged into the community as it's one of the most positive things that can happen to you. I have a few who have started to dip their toe in the water and they're starting to see the value. My hope is that they too will spread the word. For those that don't, I bring the community to them the best that I can with the internal tug. And when they ask questions, I will continue to share the community. Well, like everything else, feedback is really important. One of our first, after our first meeting, I received a lot of feedback as we tried to do a hands-on exercise. There were connectivity issues. Uh, the difference in UI as we had both desktop users and web authors, things that I didn't account for. But by surveying the group and inviting that feedback, I was able to improve the meetings. Every other meeting, I do a survey to see how we're doing on content, ask for ideas and improvements. It's a useful tool to attempt to stay relevant for the internal community. Finding the best way to get people's opinions of what's going on, and ultimately, the group is theirs and they should have a sense of ownership around the tug. I find tools like Kahoot or SurveyMonkey to be invaluable for quizzes and surveys to gather that feedback. So that's the story so far. We are just finishing our first year of tug meetings uh, and the year end survey so far has been fairly positive. Um, but what questions do you have? What questions can I answer for you uh, to help kind of part the seas to get your internal tug going? Um, I will do my best to answer them, um, and if there are no questions, I want to thank you for listening, uh, and if I can help in any way, please reach out to me. Thank you. So, Mark, we have one question, which is, do you only invite people that are already using Tableau? Um, 
so right now, yes, because the initial list was based on our Tableau server and Tableau desktop population. But as we bring new groups on to Tableau through the Business Intelligence and Analytics Competency Center, those folks are uh, shared an invite. Um, if we know of groups that are considering um, joining uh, our Tableau server, uh, like bringing analytics into their department, um, we do like publicize the fact through our training programs that this internal tug is available. Okay, and we also have another question. What is your roadmap for beginner level students on Tableau? Um, so we start with a, uh, a, a series of one hour videos, um, kind of Tableau orientation around, um, you know, how Tableau server works, what our internal processes are. Um, then we have a best practices and data visualization class. And then from there, depending what their function is, it, uh, there's a, a half day web authoring class that uh, we teach. And then if they're desktop users, it's a two and a half day boot camp. And then from there, I augment it with different external resources that I have and um, through the internal Tableau doctor. So if they have questions, I can work on them one on one. We have about, I think it's 150, 175 desktop users. So um, uh, right now it's not so overwhelming, uh, but I can see that becoming problematic as I cannot scale. I see Lindsay asked yeah. a question, um, how often the tug uh, meets. Um, so we meet every other month um, and then we have a special meeting uh, prior to the conference to, for those who are attending to help kind of plan their conference experience, especially if it's their first time. Um, good question, Mark, about uh, the percentage of desktop users that attend the tug. I don't know. So I, I, I haven't bounced it up against our licensing list to see what the percentage is of web authors versus desktop. I think primarily our attendance is desktop users, but I know there are a few web authors that attend. How do I encourage people to attend? Um, uh, good question, Steve. It's, um, it's a lot of badgering, um, honestly. Uh, the biggest problem that we have right now is, so even though folks are in Cleveland, um, you know, I put a WebEx up for the remote users, but everybody's busy. So they, a lot of times, will sit at their desk in the same building that we're meeting in and log into the WebEx. Um, so I'm continually asking them to reserve the WebEx for remote users because we're limited to only 100 uh, on, on my WebEx account. Um, and then uh, my hope is in the new year um, to be able to pr provide some sort of incentive uh, to have folks attend, or not to attend, but to present. So either some sort of token or gift or uh, KeyBank has these possibility cards. It's like a $25 gift card or something. I'm not sure what, what's uh, possible at this point, but uh, I'm hoping that we can somehow encourage people to start presenting. And I think once we get people who are presenting who aren't seen as quote unquote experts, um, that maybe people will get more comfortable with um, presenting their particular story. Oh, um, can I expound a little more on the internal Tableau hackathon? So we actually haven't done one yet, um, ex at least exclusively for the Tableau user group. Um, we did an analytics hackathon inside KeyBank uh, earlier last year. And um, basically it was, uh, we had some runtime up to it to plan it. And then there was two days of kind of heads down uh, work around it. So, and it, encompassed all of our analytic tools. So we had SAS, we had R, we had Python, we had Tableau, and people just taking our, uh, we provided nine uh, data sets that had been ripped, stripped of uh, PII, and, and they were able to use those nine data sets to um, produce their uh, analytic hackathon work. Um, the winning projects then ended up getting funding uh, to, you know, kind of productionize those, uh, those outputs. Um, and it was really well received. So I know they're, we're planning on doing another analytics hackathon this year. 
Um, and my hope is to get the Tableau user group involved in that a little bit more. Okay, and Mark, we also have a question. What about getting manager buy-in to allow people to make time for learning or discovery? And what are your biggest challenges there? Attending you know, these meetings because they are learning sessions. Um, it would be really nice to get uh, more support from uh, the management group. Um, and that's just something that I'm continually working on. So is this, just to provide some context, is this your job to help, uh, like to run the user groups, to do that kind of um, community focused work? Because I can see, or I've seen challenges in the past with organizations where it's kind of an other duty as assigned or you pick it up because you love it, but then when work gets really busy and things get slammed, something's got to give. So can you talk a little bit about that? Because I think that that's an important aspect to how internal tugs work. My job is being the tableau of instinct. My job encompasses a lot of community outreach, uh, the development and delivery of uh, educational classes. Um, I do proof of concept work from a development standpoint as groups are learning how to bring analytics into their communities or into their departments. Um, but yeah, so part of my day to day is the community outreach and working with users to help them adopt and and uh, see and understand their data. I want to participate in the tug remotely. Oh. How do I reach you regarding the same? So uh, the the tug that I'm talking about today is internal to our our uh, our bank, so it's not open to the uh, the general public. Um, but I know there are some tablet user groups like, you know, that are regional or uh, industry specific that do have some remote capability. Um, I've seen some streaming, I think uh, Arizona streams, or uh, I should say the Phoenix, Phoenix Tug streams their video uh, on occasion. And um, I believe London Tug has as well. Um, so as, as far as tug participation, um, you just need to go to tableau.com for the user groups. Actually, if you go to usergroups.tableau.com, uh, all of the tugs are listed there, both regional, local, and um, virtual. Um, so that would be the best place to connect with the Tableau user group community. And Brittany just added that the DC tug records their meetings, so you can see them after the fact if you go to dctug.com. All right, and then we have, I think, one last question from Rodrigo. What are your three wishes for 2019? Hey, Rodrigo, that sounds like a podcast question to yeah. me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Stealing like an artist. I know. Um, oh, my, my three wishes for 2019. Um, I wish that in the uh, context menu, uh, when you're switching dates between discrete and continuous, that they color-coded the discrete and continuous date parts, <laughs> just for more clarity. Um, uh, I wish everybody to have a fabulous 2019 and uh, I'm going to save my third wish for later. Mark, thank you so much for coming on and talking about internal tugs. They're near and dear to my heart. I love them and I think that they're such a great way to not only establish community within an organization, but really help those users learn from each other and improve their work products so there definitely to me is a really big benefit to having them so thank you so much not only for the work that you're doing at KeyBank um, and the Tableau community at large here but for presenting today thank you so much and make sure you connect with Mark over Twitter he is um, as I said super duper excited about Tableau and always willing to share so Mark thank you so much Absolutely. Thank you, Emily. And thank you for running the Tableau Fringe Fest. It is such an awesome, awesome uh, endeavor. And I'm so happy to have been a part of it the last, uh, last three events. It's been fun. Awesome. Well, thank you so much.